this is it, a can't miss game and a backdrop to match the special occasion. The fans had this one circled on their calendars long ago and now it's a matter of who will dominate on the pitch. Big characters on the big stage, what a prospect. Drama guaranteed, and it's live, coming up next on EA TV. Hello, wherever you happen to be, welcome to Catalonia, welcome to Barcelona. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Barcelona up against Inter Miami. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen in goal. Ilkay Gundogan plays alongside Frenkie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And the starting role... Derek, they must finish here. There it is! The opening goal of this match. And what a start they've made. Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Sergio Busquets. Now with Messi and Gomez. Good tackle. Joao Cancelo. Well, as he hit that one, it looked as though it had a chance. Wasn't a great piece of passing. Can he finish? And it's come off the keeper. A massive sigh of relief in the end. That was nearly very costly. Well, he got lucky there. That was a big mistake by the goalkeeper. And Messi carries it forward. What's he going to do from this position? Gabby. Rafinha and here's Lewandowski good numerical situation oh genuine chance couldn't grab hold of it and the keeper has it after that tension laden sequence well what a great first save that was how did he stop that and he read it well intercepting it Kunde it's with Gundogan Oriol Romeu are showing good defensive judgment. Good looking sequence. Makes the move to the inside. And that was simply miles off target. Well, I think he's right to go for power, but he's made the wrong connection, and it's really poor technique in the end. Well, as you can see, it wasn't even close, was it? No debate about that one. Well, he's allowed it to go over the touchline, so a throw-in. And Messi with teammates to play it to. Oh, maybe the equaliser. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. 
Well, you have to admire this bit of play. Just look how he runs with the ball. He always looked in control, didn't he? That's a brilliant goal. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Christensen. De Jong. Gavi. And quick thinking defensively. Really good diving save. Playing it in. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Lionel Messi. Crossing opportunity. Now just the tackle that was needed. Lewandowski. Uh, plays with a... Oh, could be! Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Now, how about the short corner? Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. And room now out on the flank. In with a chance. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, here's the replay, and just look how close this is. But it's definitely the right call. That's technology at its best. Well, back underway here, and they've split the four goals between them so far. De Jong Gabi now with De Jong an effective challenge Yedlin Martinez now with Messi and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end might be a chance to break to say it has been coming well first of all where's the defending they're all over the place but give him some credit that's a good finish great composure
underway again and we're being treated to plenty of goals 3-2 at the moment well that's a really good authoritative tackle throw in here Andre Yedlin and Messi in a good position what can he and his teammates do but quick thinking defensively breaking at pace decides to shoot huge block so Barcelona with the lead, and now they have a corner. Trying to pick out a teammate. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, just the sort of thing we expect from Lionel Messi in the first half, Stuart. Yeah, he's done OK in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team, who need to improve if they're going to turn this around. And the referee sounding the second half into action. It's Barcelona with the lead here. He's given the ball away. Gabi. This is Robert Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Opportunity. Real defensive resilience. Oh, and couldn't convert. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Facundo Farias. And that is offside. <laughs> and in the right position to read it. Inigo Martinez. Could cross it in here. Martinez. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. It's a perfect challenge. Lionel Messi, counter-attacking, very much an option. Well, it petered out. Gundogan. It's with Gundogan. Well, when you're leading, you can afford to be pass-happy. And you cannot argue with a hat-trick. Simply unstoppable today. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal.
So the current scoreline, 4-2. He's found a pocket of space. Lionel Messi. Good piece of defending. And Barca unable to keep the ball. Gabby Oh, in with a chance A goal! That's two for him today They simply can't stop him No wonder he's celebrating Well, here it is again And credit to the goal scorer But you have to ask questions of the keeper He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. Andre Yedlin. Well, no point in stopping play. Advantage with them. Well, no advantage in the end. And she'll pull it back for the free kick. Well, a judgment call for the referee. Many an official would have cautioned him. Substitution time it is here. Promising avenue of attack favoured by Messi. Possession one. Gabby. He has teammates around him. Oh, could be an opportunity here. Oh, a smart stop. And he might be through here. It's gone in, and well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head, smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, what an extraordinary scoreline. Does this game have more goals in it? Gundogan. Here's Rafinha. Difficult to stop him. It needs an accurate cross. Could reduce the deficit. And the keeper really reacted brilliantly. Well, from that sort of range, it's a great save, I have to say. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. But he's gone short with it. He takes aim. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? Fancy a short one. Gives it a go. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. And 
How can he take them on and beat them? Has a go. And it's come off the keeper. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Well, this game is almost in the history books and it's not going to be one the visitors will want to remember for long, Stuart. Well, they've been second best, that's for sure. And the main problem has been in midfield where they've been overrun at times. They just haven't been able to get enough possession. It's not been a good performance to date. And Lionel Messi has turned infield. Messi... And it sets up a furious finish. Well, it's a good finish, as you can see. Look at the bend he puts on the ball. The keeper just can't get across to it. That's an excellent goal. And I must say, I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4. Gabby. And that will be all for this game. Defeat for the visitors. That's the big story. Well, in my view, they were the better team. They dominated possession and created more chances, but they just could make it count. It's a disappointing result for them.